Okay, so reminding myself, this was where I had gotten in my stage. This was my last frame. I had created it in my assets, so now if I want to create another frame, the next one, I need to get rid of this combined one in my assets. So I do that by hitting Command-D and then deleting. Okay, now I'm going to start the process again. So I need to make the next frame after this. I know the book is going to move down some more. But this is what I love about layer styles. Is I can actually copy the layer styles from this layer. By right clicking just like you rasterized. Right clicking and saying copy that layer style. And then right click here and say layer style paste. And we'll paste that layer style onto this. And then I can use my drop down and I can exaggerate it a little bit. Take the opacity up. Take the size up on that inner glow because this is knowledge. Do the same thing with the outer glow. Take the opacity up a little bit. Take the size up a little bit. And then what else do I need? I need to make the inner shadow on this head a little bit darker now that it's closer, right? And I think I want to change the expression. It's not going to quite get here yet, right? But I think I want to transition between matte and happy. So I'm going to make a duplicate of my happy one. And I'm going to just Option Command T these eyes a little bit. And maybe distort them down. Actually, no, I'll just I'll leave the eyes where they are. I'm just going to change the mouth. Option Command T, not Command T. I keep doing that. So I'm just going to bring the corners of the mouth down a little bit. Why am I not seeing that? Because I have these one, this one on in front of it. And I'm going to dim those cheeks. And maybe widen the base of that mouth. Option Command T. All right, so something like that. So we'll go from this to this. Is that too extreme for the eyes? Maybe. So maybe I'll just shrink the eyes a little. This is why emojis are actually kind of tricky, because they're very subtle. From this to this. Maybe make those cheeks just a little bit stronger. All right, so if this is my frame, I've now set it up. Now I'm going to go through the steps we repeat over and over again to move our asset frame, once it looks the way we want for our next animation frame, onto our stage to put it into our film. Once we've set up all the components in our layers, it's just like Tim Burton setting up a character on a stage for Nightmare Before Christmas, and now I'm setting up a camera in front of it, and I'm going to take the picture. So how do I take the picture? I go to my topmost visible layer, hold down Shift, scroll down to the base layer, it will and then click. It will select all those layers. Hold down Option, go to Layer, and then Merge Layers. It creates a non-destructive merge layer at the top, then I'm going to go to Command A to select all. Then I'm going to go to Command C to copy it all. Puts it on that layer, that merge combined layer, onto the clipboard. Then I click on my stage. And I should already by default be on the top most visible layer. And I'm going to go to Edit Paste, which is Command V. Paste it in. So pretty big change there. So what is my animation so far? It is this, to this, to this, to this, to this, to this, to this. Oh. 
I'm trying to look at the animation instead of the eyeballs. Good. Now, to build my next frame, I have to Command D deselect and then delete that combined layer. Once that's deleted, I can start building my next frame and see it. And I can copy the layer style and paste it onto my next book. And I can exaggerate those effects even more by upping their opacity and by changing their size. So this is the ultimate happiness book. What I love about the layer styles is that glow is affecting all the pixels underneath it. That I want to darken the shadow on the head a little bit more. And I might even add, let's see, an outer glow to the head now. Now that's a little too strong, right? So I'm going to take that opacity down. And then I'm going to add an inner glow to the head, which is kind of counter to a shadow, but you'll see it can work. Take its size down. And then I'm going to change the expression to no longer be transitionally happy, but fully happy. From this to this. Boom. So now how do I merge them all? I'll go through those steps again. You can check if you're writing them down. It's a good idea. Keeps me from having to repeat them over and over again while I'm helping you individually, but I'll keep repeating them in the, the video because it's how you kind of have to think as an animator. So I click on the topmost visible layer, I hold down shift, I scroll down to the base layer, then I hold down option, go to layer, merge layers, then I find that combined layer, command A to select it all, command C to copy it all, move to my stage, command V to paste it in. And I can hit command S for good measure and see my stage file update. And then go back to my assets, and in order to set up the next frame, I have to deselect Command D and then delete that merged frame, which for whatever reason takes Photo P a little bit of time. And I can save my assets, so I haven't saved them yet today. Right now, I am to finally the end of my first row of my keyframes where a book drops down and it glows. Now the book is going to start to fade. And I was going to have a match drop down. So let's see. So let's first go... Let's have the book fade before the expression fades. So this is pretty easy. I'm just going to go to my effects. I don't need to move the book anymore, but I just go to my effects and I start taking it down. I'm going to take it down pretty fast. Both the outer glow and the rest. And that's going to dim the shadow a little bit on the head. But not a whole lot. And then it can dim the inner glow a little bit and the outer glow a little bit. <coughs> so this is a subtle kind of transition. Go to my topmost visible layer, hold down shift, go to my base layer, select them all, hold down option, then go to layer and say merge layers. Makes a non-destructive combined layer. Command A to select it all, Command C to copy it all, go to my stage, Command V to paste it all in. Now it's starting to fade. Now I want the expression to change a little bit as the book continues to fade. So I go back to my assets, Command D to deselect, delete to delete the layer. Or I could drag it down to the trash. It's taking too long. All right. And now I'm going to take the effects down again down to 
very little, only about 20%. And, of course, same thing with the effects on the head. And now the expression's got to change. And I already have that transitional, not quite happy. So how about that? All right, now, topmost layer, <coughs> hold down shift, base layer, selects them all, hold down option, go to layer, merge layers, command A to select it all, command C to copy it all, Go to my stage, command V to paste it in. Now I have 12 layers and it's getting me still back to here. Right? All right, now I think is a good time for not just the expression to, uh, to just get more flat and for all of the effects to go off of the book. So I hit command D to deselect and then delete that layer. So let's just turn the effects off the book, or I guess that's a little abrupt, so let's take them down to less than 10. All right, so now I want the match to start dropping. So I go to my assets, and I have this PNG of this lit match. And I'm going to shrink it. And I want it to fall, there we go, kind of centered down. So it's going to start there. Now that match, where is that layer? I'm going to put it on top of everything. All right. Now that match, I can also give a layer style if I want. Make it pretty bright. And I can give it an inner glow as well, right? Okay. Now I wanted to change the expression a little bit. I think I'm going to do another transition of happy. I tend to make too many assets, but let's just see how it goes. I'm just going to change the mouth a little bit. I'm just going to flip it upside down. And I'm just going to take the eyes a little bit. Actually, I'm not even going to change the eyes. But I'm going to fade the cheeks a little. Okay, so that's where I was. That, that's going to be the next one. So, Topmost visible layer, that's going to be my match layer. Hold down shift, go all the way to the bottom, my background. Then I hold down option, go to layer, merge layers. Command A to select it all, command C to copy it all. Click on my stage, command V to paste it in. My only worry is that my, maybe my shadow, that's fine. It's a little too dim, but I think it's fine. Okay, save my work. Make sure I know where I'm saving. So you see the expression just changed on my stage. That's important. And now I'm going to deselect Command D and delete that merged layer and save my assets. Now they match again. And now this match, I'm going to duplicate and it will duplicate the layer style as well. And I need to duplicate it because I'm going to...